Unlock your potential. Making the most of feedback in English learning. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a super important topic that can be a game changer in your English learning journey. We're diving into how to effectively use feedback from teachers and peers. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Whether you're preparing for an English test or just aiming to improve, feedback is the secret ingredient for rapid improvement. Feedback is essentially advice or critique given by someone else about your performance. This can be your teacher telling you to focus on your verb tenses, or a peer pointing out that your pronunciation is improving. Feedback is like a mirror. It shows you what you might not be able to see yourself. So why is feedback important? 1. Identify strengths and weaknesses. It helps you understand where you excel and where you need to put in more work. 2. Offers guidance. Sometimes you may not know how to improve, and feedback provides that direction. 3. Motivation. Positive feedback can boost your confidence and make you more motivated to study. Feedback can generally be classified into two types. 1. Formative feedback. This is ongoing feedback that is given during the learning process. It helps to form your skills and knowledge in real time. 2. Summative feedback. This is given at the end of a learning period, like after a test or a course. Both are crucial but serve different purposes. Formative feedback helps you make instant changes, while summative feedback offers a more overall picture of your skills. Teachers are a treasure trove of expertise. When receiving feedback from teachers, consider the following steps. 1. Actively listen. Pay attention to what the teacher is saying. Take notes if you have to. 2. Ask questions. If you don't understand something, don't hesitate to ask for clarification. 3. Implement changes. Put into practice the recommendations given to you. If your teacher says your vocabulary needs expansion, make that your focus for the next week. Peer feedback is also incredibly valuable. Here's how to make the most of it. 1. Be open. Accept that everyone has something valuable to offer. 2. Analyze critically. Not all peer feedback will be 100% accurate. Use your own judgment to decide what to take on board. 3. Reciprocate. Offer your own constructive feedback. Sometimes, the process of evaluating others can offer insights into your own progress. 1. Ignoring feedback. Feedback is futile if not acted upon. 2. Taking it personally. Remember, feedback is not an attack. It's an aid to improvement. 3. Focusing only on negative feedback. Balance is key. While it's important to understand your weak areas, also celebrate your strengths. Alright, folks. That wraps up our video on effectively using feedback from teachers and peers in your English learning journey. Remember, feedback isn't just about hearing what you did wrong or right. It's about learning how to improve and setting a path for your future progress. I hope you found this video helpful. See you in the next one.